Have you been developing your emotional intelligence through some online course or some coaching and found out there's a dark side to your new superpower? In this video, I'll share with you some of the potential dark side and help you to use your new EQ superpower for good and not for evil. Hi, I'm Paul Pichot with Whole Worker, and if you want to advance your communication skills and social emotional learning, then subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget to like this video as well when you're all done with it. And as a matter of fact, stick with me to the end because I've got a free download for you that'll help you strengthen your emotional intelligence skills. All right, now let's get to the dark side of developing those skills. Okay, before we go anywhere in a discussion of emotional intelligence, or EQ as it is often called, we have to define it. Emotional intelligence is our ability to understand, label, and manage our emotions and the emotions of others so that we can make more informed, better decisions. All right, so that our emotions aid us in that decision process and not get in the way. Now, the interesting thing about EQ is that it can be strengthened throughout our lifetime. You can work at it, whereas IQ remains kind of fixed. It'll fluctuate only a few points over a lifetime. Now, some of the benefits of working at emotional intelligence, and your emotional intelligence in particular, is control of our emotions, obviously. Um, things like emotional triggers like fear or anger, many people find it very helpful for controlling those emotional triggers. It helps us with effective communication with other people, understanding our emotional makeup and their emotional makeup. As a matter of fact, that's the heart and soul of any time I train people in emotional intelligence, whether it's on site at a live workshop or even through my online uh, course. It, it, good communication is the key there. It gives us a deeper understanding of ourself and our emotional makeup and of others. And quite frankly, can make us more productive, not just in our jobs, but in life and make us feel more fulfilled because we understand more of ourselves. So that's some of the benefits of working at your emotional intelligence and increasing your EQ. Now there is a downside to building up your superpower of emotional intelligence. And what we're talking about here really is emotional manipulation. When you grow in an understanding of how your emotions work, and in particular, how other people's emotions work, you could become, uh, uh, you could have the potential to be manipulative in that regard. Now this is nothing new. We've seen this happening in the advertising world for decades, if not centuries. Uh, we've all been a part of watching an ad on TV or listening to one on the radio that manipulates us by tugging at our guilt strings or making us feel fearful so that we'll make a particular choice, we'll make a particular decision, usually in the favor of that company's product. That's nothing new. Well, that comes from an understanding of how we tick as human beings, how we work emotionally and exploiting those features. That's not what any legitimate training is all about. For example, in my workshops or in my online course, the aim of those trainings is better communication, first with yourself and understanding yourself, and then with others that you work and live with. That's the goal, better communication and stronger relationships as a result of that. We can't throw the baby out with the bathwater here just because there is a potential for a downside. We wouldn't, for example, say, I'm not gonna strengthen my leadership skills because some people have abused their leadership and used it for self-serving ends. Well, the same thing is true with emotional intelligence. So that's the potential downside or dark side of emotional intelligence. But you don't have to go there. We can use it for good and not for evil. Hey, which expression of emotion trips you up the most? I'd be interested to hear that. Write it down in the comments below. Now the good news is, anytime you start a study of emotional intelligence or pursue a co course in emotional intelligence, you'll find yourself feeling bounded by your values and your morals. Those two things will keep any potential dark side in check. You can ask yourself, why do I want to pursue increasing my emotional intelligence? Why do I want this superpower? Well, if it's for some nefarious means, if it's 
to manipulate others, then that's probably not a good reason to pursue emotional intelligence. But most of the time, as a matter of fact, I don't know anybody in any one of my workshops or people who have taken my online course who said, you know, they want to do it for that reason. What they want to do is understand themselves more completely and they want to be able to work with others and communicate with others more completely. Uh, so, Often it's um, the resolving of an emotional trigger. Uh, they wanna get control of an emotional trigger like anger or fear, those are two big ones. Emotional intelligence principles and practices can help you do that. By exercising your emotional intelligence powers, you can get those things under control. So any good course of study will help you do that. That's the good news. So finally here, developing your EQ gives you the power of choice so that you don't have to feel trapped in patterns of destructive behavior and helps you develop healthy relationships, first with yourself, then with others, by giving you an understanding of your emotional makeup and the makeup of others. I highly recommend developing your emotional intelligence for better communication. Okay, so there's some ideas on how to strengthen your emotional intelligence and keep away from the dark side. Now, if you'd like to strengthen your emotional intelligence right now, I've got a free download for you. It's in the form of a report called 10 Ways to Boost Your Emotional Intelligence Now. The link for that report is in the show notes below. If you click on those two words, show more, in the notes below this video, you'll see the link right there. Go ahead and download that right now. Now, if you want to get serious about strengthening your EQ, I've got a full online course entitled EQ is the new IQ, developing your emotional intelligence. The link for that course is in the show notes below as well. Feel free to take a look at that. If you click on that link, it will take you to the course description page. You can read what the course is all about, all the benefits to taking the course. I take you through exercises. Many people take two weeks or a month to go through it because there's exercises that you gotta get other people involved with and it's very, very helpful and instructive. So again, the link is in the show notes below. Feel free to take a look at that course. Now, there's multiple ways you can connect with the whole worker, the growing whole worker community. We're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. All those links are in the notes below as well. So feel free to check us out there. Okay, if you like this video, give me a like right now. As a matter of fact, take a screenshot and tweet that baby out to all your friends and tell them you learned something about emotional intelligence with Paul Bichot and Whole Worker. And remember, subscribe, and when you subscribe to this channel, ring that bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Okay, I'm Paul Bichot with Whole Worker. Thanks for watching.